I'm hungry. Hello, hungry. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Storm King Center. Episode 57, I couldn't think of a good name, so what you see is what you get. I am not even going to say it out loud. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? Oh, good, good, good. B bought a VR headset. Had been having oh. fun with that. Oh, nice. Causing mayhem in VR chat right now, or so. L looking forward to that some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slowly recovering from mental um, insanity, among other things. Don't worry about me. Right. I'm just here. Because we have returned last time. You all went to see, wanted, to, wanted to see the spider people. You met some spider people in the form of driders. Who were not did not take too kindly to you, um, and nor the nor their little giant spider friends. You killed them without you know too much problem. Although you had gone to the attention of a few others, uh, two of which you killed, and one of them you kept alive to potentially interrogate. On the uh, the female, you guys do find a um, an obsidian scarab. Oh. You got one of those. The goat is alive, but poisoned currently. <laughs> It failed to save terribly last time. But yes, you have this guy here, this drow gentleman, as your prisoner. He is unconscious. And now manacled. <laughs> you have manacles anymore? I'm pretty sure I bought a pair, didn't I? Uh, my inventory. Like, did you buy another pair after the last person ran with yours? Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> I did not. Uh, <laughs> tied up now, he is. That's a yes, yes. So, what would you all like to do? Oh, all right, uh, we should slap him awake, right? Probably want to pat him awake versus slap him awake. That's the same thing. No, it isn't. Okay. Hey, uh, I'm gonna like uh, just start patting his face a bit. Come on, wake up, wake up. <sighs> <sighs> He kind of looks up at you. Hi. Do you speak common? Wait. Let me put a little binding on him too. Yep. Um, Badger is going to activate the Helm of Comprehension, just okay. in case. She hears, what the fuck do you want? Uh, Pochara, you hear something that you don't understand. Um, I'm trying to remember. The helm only understands it, right? It yes, it does not let you translate. Um, 
uh, she she tells uh, Polchara. He said, he said, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> oh. Hmm. And he doesn't speak common then, unless he's lying. Hey, Char, do you speak Elvish? Me? Uh, no. Okay. Only. Uh, in would the helmet comprehension know the language, or it would just understand it? It would just understand it. It would not know that. And, it, and is it that Badger understands the language because she knows it, or it's just because the helm un trans Because the helm is re is uh, uh, translating it. Um, Badger says that uh, what he's speaking is an Elvish. Oh, I, I know he's speaking on the common. I can understand it, but I was just wondering if any of you spoke Elvish. So maybe we can convince him to start speaking Elvish, since he might know Elvish. I don't know. Is, it, is that, uh, is this Spider Queen stuff he's been talking about, is that like a double thing? Or an abyssal thing? <sighs> that... Did you do a religion check last time? Uh, I did. You're a bard, so I'll let you roll one. Alrighty. Five. Not quite sure. Uh, I, I'll just try speaking Infernal, then. And do you understand me now? He spits at you. Here's where you speak Elvis, right? I do. Yeah, okay. I kind of, I kind of like, kind of, after it reads, set, calls us out to you, I kind of just start walking towards Polchara. Polchara, uh, maybe we should try, uh, something a little more along the lines of, uh, what it could be. And I kind of, like, kneel down and speak, say in Elvish, um, where is your. Uh, I speak in Elvish. Do you know Elvish? In Elvish, he says, Fuck off, half-breed. <laughs> I guess well, that made you it. speechless. <laughs> I am debating... <laughs> Yeah, I pull my rapier out, <laughs> and I press it up against his abdomen. <clears throat> like, just like, keeping the point on him, not putting applying pressure just yet, Satan and Elvish. We want to know where Yelita is. And if you call me half-breed one more time, I'm going to put so many holes in you. That uh, if they if your people find you, you won't be recon you you won't be recognized. Make an intimidation check. He just laughs at you. Go ahead, half breed. Do your worst. Can I tell how how beat it be is? Oh yeah, he's very beat up. He would, yeah. He it too much damage will kill him. Actually, probably stabbing him will probably kill him. Uh, excuse me, Ezra. Is he talking at all? Oh yes, he's calling me a bunch of lovely names <laughs> and uh, <laughs> does not seem very cooperative. And, uh, let's just say, if I give in to my, uh, impulses at the moment, he won't be breathing. <laughs> uh, would, would you like for me to add a little bit of finesse to making him cooperate with you? <laughs> I, I do have means of making people talk without hurting them. You can try, but he doesn't speak anything unless it's, um, I'm assuming he doesn't speak anything unless it's either Elvish or... 
possibly under common. Ah, that's fine. We don't have to speak the same language for me to uh, work my magic. <laughs> now, j just translate something for me, Ezra. Tell him this is Puchara. Uh, he he is what we call a nightmare worker. Now, you can start telling me he uh, what we want to know, or he'll make you see this again. I do that. I'm going to uh, get behind him, and I'm going to touch uh, both his temples. Bill's on either side of his head, and I'm going to cast fear on him. Okay, so what, what did you say to him? Oh, uh, basically I'm having Ezra introduce me and uh, just have him say, hey, that I, I can cause nightmares pretty badly, and I'm going to ca cast fear on him. Okay, let me just see. Well, um, I assume you point it away from the party. Uh, yeah, pretty much just. As much like that as I could. All right, well, he definitely can't take action, so we'll see how we do. Okay. You see large drips of sweat uh, form up on him, on his brow. And I kind of, uh, I kind of, as I'm kneeling down, now, do you want to talk? Or would you like to see it again? think you can do worse than her <laughs> you have me now but there is no escaping her wrath all right now we're getting somewhere where is this her you're referring to Make a persuasion check. Far away. The Queen of Spiders doesn't dwell in this realm. If you want to meet her, well, you must go quite deep down to the abyss ah I see now I'll ask you one more question is there any more of you down here he just cocks a smile I'm not answering that. I look at Pachara. Are you sure about that? I'm just like gonna like uh, uh like rub my hands together. And I'm gonna touch one of his temple, and I'm gonna like very uh, visibly show I'm about to touch his left one. Magic's not going to overcome true fear, devil. He says that in Elvish, of course. It seems like your, your potty trick may be a one-trick pony there, Polchara. It appears so. He does get another save because it's been a. Like, what's your DC? I think it's higher than that. Uh, my DC is. Uh, that is a fierce spell, so uh, eighteen. Yeah, I, I figured it'd be freaking high as hell. 
Yeah, it gets a boost thanks to my Rod of the Pack keepers. Yeah, too. yeah, it's, he's still f afraid of you, but... But he won't. But he won't answer. Uh... He will not. No. Uh. Well, Paul Char, is there anything else we need to know before I uh, run him through? Uh, the only other thing I really want to know was where his stronghold was. Well, from what he told me, that the Queen of Spiders resides in the abyss so she's nowhere near here that we know of and he refuses to tell me if there's any more of them down here oh hmm well then appears uh like normal torture won't work and yeah looks like this spell's about random too Okay, then tell him this. I'm going to untie the back of his hands. And you're free to go. Go ahead. Return uh, to your horde of failure. I'm gonna... Ed, well, thing is, you go to untie his hands, however, they're not tied. And, uh... First off, do this, and second off, sec. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. I'm gonna assume that since I was like right up against him with my right pure on his stomach, he basically is potentially he could have already moved. Because of the darkness, it wouldn't have mattered. You can't get an opportunity attack, but uh, we'll see what happens here. He is. Will Charge you drop the spell? Uh, no. He may still be afraid of you, though. Yeah. Okay, I believe Pull Charge can act first, as uh, since you're basically the one that noticed a uh, thing come off, and then he suddenly disappeared. Or the darkness appeared. So, uh, yeah, I, I already know he's pretty injured. I'm just gonna try to punch him square in the face, try and knock him out. All right, uh, strength check with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, that will hit. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Okay. Let me. Uh... Is he already down? <laughs> yeah, he had one health. <laughs> I bet he rolled a goddamn 20. Jesus. You were really good on that, didn't you? But yeah, you said, he's a. You, you said he was untied before I looked down? Yeah, it seems like he had slipped out without you noticing. At least his hands. Here's this guy's uh, pretty set on fighting us. May I do the honors? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, you just gonna kill him? Yeah, I. I, I I'm going to uh, like uh, bring out my great sword, uh, my fire one. I'm going to like just stand here. I'm just gonna like, like, like have it gestured over to Ezra. Uh, you want it to really hurt? <laughs> No, I'm gonna let this half breed's weapon do the dirty work. 
All right, you just go 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 and describe what you want to do to him. He is completely at your mercy. He's he'd be out for over an hour, so you definitely hit him. I do what I told him I was gonna do before. If he tried anything. All right. I poke him so full of holes they won't be able to recognize him. Fair enough. He is thoroughly dead. This is the t this is probably the first time the party's ever seen Ezra go unhinged. <laughs> on like, not a li like on an actual living being. <clears throat> of course, Reed and Badger would have understood, uh, <laughs> what he said. I'm completely ignorant. <laughs> Thing you would have known of it is, uh, <laughs> I I I actually say the the phrasing half breed because you didn't hear what he called me. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna put my hand on your shoulder and say, Ezra, it's not that bad being a half breed. <clears throat> context matters, Pulchara. Context matters. Oh come on, people call uh, my kind much worse. Uh, the worst thing you can call a tiefling is a devilkin. <laughs> oh, either way, we should probably get moving. Right to you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, according to this, the proper way to go to keep following up on these guys would be this way. Well then, uh, should I take pointers or someone else want the honors? Yeah, guess I'll do it. Yeah, I don't. I don't I'm not going to get a friend. Oh, you sure, Reed? I think you you would be do amazingly up in the front I of sure. combat. No. <laughs> You can charge in, you can hit someone <clears throat> with your stick. <laughs> no, no, I'll do it. <laughs> See, Azra, I think your hex is still active. Uh, because, yeah, because Hex is up for eight hours. Mm -hmm. I drop it, so. Probably just going to want keeping it up because I'd rather, you know, if we fight again, at least I can just throw it on something. I'm just going to have Darabeth close behind. How, how close are the rest of the party following? <laughs> All right, there's Reed. Leon, don't forget that you can as well. Well, realistically, I'm going to be behind Mulchara, and Badger's probably going to be a good 10 feet behind. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get to that corner. I'm just going to get right here. I'm going to peek on over. Okay, uh... Hmm. Can you measure 60 feet uh, down and just to the side a little bit? Right, okay, okay, that's good. You don't quite have that angle, but you do have a bit of an angle. A better one. That should suffice. Okay, I'm activating stealth mode. Yeah. Oh, oh, not that. Sixty. Well, here's the thing, though. You waited until right there to activate stealth mode. 
Very fair. Let's see, then you did peek out. Mm, let's see, with that range, it's a regular roll. Is that 20 to hit? Uh, 20 to hit, uh, yes. You take three piercing, I need to make a con save. Six. You fall unconscious. All right, uh, you all see Pulchara take a bolt and then just kind of collapse on the floor. Initiative. You can't see into the darkness, I'm just putting it above for my sake. Alright. You are... oh right, you're this. Well, good thing I rolled a stealth check. <laughs> oh no, there's no stealth. You guys did not stealth at a very good time. Well, at least I'm in a spot where I can't be seen by it. <laughs> yes. Well, hopefully they don't aim for my unconscious body. I guess I technically am prone. Yes, you are. But you are also poisoned. I'm going to put that condition on you as well. Although, you getting hit wouldn't be the worst thing to happen to you. Oh, yeah, it's not a double nat 20 in a boss fight. Okay. Okay, she worked really well. All right. Well, safe to say that my first... Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I get over right here and I attempt to drag his body back towards the group. <laughs> you can you can take an action to shake him awake. Oh, he's just knocked. He's knocked out. He's not dead zero. He's just knocked out. He's unconscious. I go to shake him awake. Okay. Well, sure, you're awake but prone. Now, uh, Pulchara, did you not go to sleep right before a big fight? I was hit by it, some kind of bolt. Could you not get hit by a bolt? I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to... Hide them. Actually, no, I'm not going to hide them. I'm going to put them on the GM layer. One sec. There we go. That way I can see and you can't. Don't you see it there, Ezra? Uh, yeah, that's, that's mainly is just waking him up. Okay. The edge of... And, okay, so this over here, these are, are sticking out from the floor or from the ceiling? Those ones are... That's on the ceiling, but it's difficult terrain in there, but Badger does not have difficult terrain because of uh, Natural Explorer, so... She's fine. Uh, okay, so my next question is... With her movement speed, if she were to get in the same like area she would be able to see if there's anybody within that kind of that area 
Well, she got right here. She could see down. See down this. Like right there. Where yeah. I pinged. Like she'd be able to see straight down the, the corridor here. To about here. Okay. Uh, she will. Right here. Yes. And she will try to see if there's anybody down that area. That uh, she she see. sees blackness at the end of the hall. Okay. So that's... Uh... Not unlike what you've already seen. She's gonna wrap around here then. Not being able to see anything that she can take a shot at right now. Okay. That's all she's gonna do. Okay. Arabeth, what do you have? Trying to get the correct thing here. Yeah, I guess she can get to there. That'll be all her movement, so. She's all she can do. What she can see to do. She recognizes the darkness and. Someone tell. Get, roll me a. Even or odd. Like just a random die. And say even or odd. Even. A little... Okay. A little late, but okay. <laughs> That's fine. Fine. We, we can go with the roll. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. No, I needed, I needed someone to say even or odd before a roll. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't convey that correctly. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Yep, all right, third level. Fireball. Well, that dissipates. Um, these two are dead. Doesn't matter what they fucking save, that would kill them. I can cross this out. And this guy. Fails. Right. Okay. She had to try that. That would not work. Okay, she try it. She does. You don't know what she does, but. Ochara. Well, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to move uh, back here a little bit, and I'm going to cast a uh, lesser restoration on myself to get rid of this poison. Okay. And you clear your poison. And, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. All right, Leon. Hmm. At twenty. Five. Let's see if I hear twenty-five. Can I see anything? Uh, let's see. You see this guy, there's a guy right here. You can see. 
Uh, it's just one guy, I assume. Yeah, the yeah, other two are dead. <laughs> yeah, two are charred corpses. Yeah, I'll cast rare sickness at him. All right, go ahead and take make that roll. That does not hit. I'm afraid. I'm just gonna move right back into place. And I just end my turn there then. Alright, read. Huh. Can I see him from here? Mm, no, not from there. Okay. You can see. You can barely see this corpse here. Okay, then I'll take the dodge action for now. Okay. This guy comes up to here, and at our friend, an 11's going to miss. All right. I'm trying to move those guys in the order. This one is going to do something. Someone tell me high or low. Low. Okay. Alrighty. Ezra. Get right here. I'm assuming I can see him from this. Well, from this angle, probably won't be able to. Um, uh, not from that angle. Uh, from that angle, definitely. Uh, let's see. Hex is 90 feet. Uh, bonus action to put hex on him. Okay. And then pew pew. Pew pew, motherfucker. Where's my hex symbol? Am I using this one? No. Well, that hits. So that one I am using. The second one misses. That's all I got. I'm using the wrong freaking thing. Which one is it? Where are you? There you are. All right, so 11 for the first one. Very good. What does Badger do? She'll probably just move up here so she can actually see. Take a shot with her bow and arrow. Okay. Um, okay, so let me just make sure I got this right. For the oath bow, you can name, you can, you named your foe. Yes. Right. And then until it dies, so days later, yada, yada. And it's, if it hits the, if it hits them, 
that's where everybody takes the extra 3d6 extra piercing. Yes, and you have advantage on attack rolls against this person. Okay, so it's a it's it's just like it's not like a uh, it's not like her like favorite enemy where like if right it, it's it's it, a little different, but also if she, if it does if it's not dead, she has disadvantage on attack rolls against any other target. I think it's I, I think it's safe to assume that she 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 names him as her as her uh, sworn sworn foe okay. or sworn enemy in Notch's narrow. I will use that for that. Okay. That'll hit. I should have used the other one. Um because it would have for some automatically... reason, the modifier was one less. I don't know why. Um, it, it's because the short bow is plus one, the oath bow is not. So go ahead and roll the oath bow damage. And then we'll um, roll 4d6. The extra. Ouch. <laughs> well, damage is damage. Still a good amount of damage. Is that her turn? Yep. All right, Darabeth. How much does your firebolt do? It does that much? Okay. That's the best thing she has right now, so... Uh, she has not hit. But she is going to hop back. To being the target of something. All right. Let's do. Okay. And as action, want to put that up. Well, Chara, what do you wish to do? <laughs> Darkness. Uh, I do not have anything that can burst that yet. Oh, actually, I may. Uh, smoke. Darkness doesn't count as smoke, right? Right. Okay. I don't have uh, anything to counter that then. Uh, so, I'm just going to go off of my mental note of where he was. And I'm just going to try uh, some Eldritch Blast. Alright, disadvantage. Doki doke. That does not hit. <laughs> that one does! Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay, and let's see, where am I? Uh, I know I'm going to have to go into the darkness either way, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay, and I'll end my turn there. Leon. Well, I can't see in there. Not very well, no. Not through that. Hmm, let me check something right quick.
Okay, I don't see this as an action, actually. What is it? Uh, so I took out my Grift Drift Globe here, and if I can speak his command word, then I'm like, this spell Daylight. Uh, that is, it takes an action to, uh, to do that. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. So you do that to uh, dispel the light. You mean the darkness. The dark. That's what I meant. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, goes away. And Fulchara, let me reveal more for you. Um, is that not updating? Uh, no, there, there we go. Oh, jeez, that took a that took a while. I can see. I can fight. <laughs> All right, and that works there. Oh, and also the uh, you see um. You killed that one. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> he needed to die. Let's see what else we can see in this room. Okay. Can't quite see all the way over there, but... Another one there. And nothing to the south. This is fine. I'm just going to reveal this. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. All right. Choton, read. Okay. Man, this is not good. I'm uh, gonna move right there. Oh, it's ro I guess. Ro oh, there we go. I guess Roll20 is being slow right now. Outstanding! Uh, oh my god, this is, this is kind of scary. Uh, I don't like being in the front. <laughs> Gonna do Ray of Frost on this person. Okay. Alright, the closest one. Go ahead. Ooh, nice. That won't hit. Roll damage. Oh, really? Dang it. All right, and that it slows her speed down temporarily. Frosted. Very nice. How much movement did you use to get there? That's all my movement. Oh no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't like this. Yeah. It'll happen. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Need to double check something? Okay, had to make sure.
Da, 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 da. Sorry, he's doing a lot of stuff. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's going to happen. Alright, this one. You're gonna love me for this. Uh, what's that going to do? Will that hit? It'll hit two of you. I'm gonna be kind. And only hit two of you. Reed, I'd be nice to you. <laughs> Thank you. Ulchara and Leon, I need you to make dexterity saving throws as a bolt of lightning shoots out from this person toward you. <laughs> Doke -doke. Eleven. All right, Ulchara, you fail. Uh, Leon, you succeed. So, Pulchara, you take 27 lightning damage, and Leon, you take 13. And that's her turn. <laughs> Ezra. All right, I will move up. About right here. Assuming I, I'm got line of sight there. E oof. Um, so you yeah, have to be right here. Oh, hold on. You won't. You won't have line of sight there. Uh, where were you? You were there. Oh, it has half cover. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. You can see her. Uh, she may have some cover though. Thinking. Your hex is still up. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. The plus whatever to her AC. Okay. Um, hex on her, obviously. All right. That'll hit. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. All right. And obviously that one. That one will miss, miss yeah. And then that's all I can do. Okay. Badger hears movement down this tunnel here. She will move up right here so that she can get a clear line of sight and points her or right here would be. Yes, yeah, she will actually, she will go see this person. How far was that? Uh, about 50 feet. I meant how far did you move, but... Well, yeah, she moved. She was about right here. So okay. about okay. 30. All right. Yeah, go ahead. And then, yeah, she'll she'll see him and take a shot with the plus one because the oath bow is not really usable. Okay. I mean, it's usable, but... Because the other one, our sworn enemy, is dead. <laughs> and 
and I actually had it well, on advantage. But well, 20 still is enough to hit. It will hit, so. My piercing. <laughs> yep. Okay, well that's difficult terrain for everyone except Badger. She'll move... She'll notice that Badger's firing down there, so... She can move to... Alien right here. And she's going to hold her action. Okay. Uh, this one begins casting a spell. And let's see. I need Ezra, Pulchara, Reed, and Leon to all make constitution saving throws. This is not Fireball, this is something else. Alright, let's see. Alright. Pulchara and Ezra have succeeded, the other two have failed. Uh, those of you that failed take 18 piercing damage as stinging insects completely fill this area and make it lightly obscured. Those that passed take 9. And move back. 20 feet. Because that's all she can. This is difficult terrain. Pulchara, you're up. Uh, difficult terrain. Yep. <laughs> well, I was gonna light uh my fire sword, but uh, do I don't want to have to use that. But it looks like I'll have to. Uh, I'm gonna misty step out. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go right for, uh, this person here. Alright, one sec. I'm gonna show you the rest of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can see it's about here, so can you... I can get that. Thank you. I hope you have AOE spells ready, everyone. <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> well, that was my bonus action, so... Yep. Oh, God. Now the question is, do I just commit? Because there's... I can't go back into that. Uh, this doesn't look like a safe place to hide. <laughs> and I don't think I can survive an opportunity attack. So, I'm just committing. Uh, Non-fire flame tongue long sword. Okay. 12. That'll miss. That one. That'll miss. I'm sorry. You got you took, turned around and looked and got distracted by the army of whatever these things are. <clears throat> yeah, that's... That's going to be my turn. Leon, you're up. 
question, does rush also uh, allows me for a bonus attack? If you dash, yeah. Or what? Well, oh, I'm saying like... no, and no, it is uh, you do one or the other. That's what I thought. Because it takes your action to do the um. The rush. Yeah. And this is rough terrain. So lovely. I believe that's about 40 points of movement, more or less. Uh, that is... 35 to get to there. Yeah, well... Either way, I gotta rush to get here, so here comes my rush attack. Alright. That's a well, mess. Yeah, it's a miss. That's a that's a two I rolled. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's a three, a one, and a two. The last couple of rolls. Well, I'm just gonna be here then with that twelve. He's like reverse me. Read. Hmm. This is all difficult terrains. Yes. So you are in a very yeah. bad spot. <laughs> I'm in the very center of this thing. Oh no, you've used most of your stuff too. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay. Gonna Misty Step right there. Okay. And then Guess I'll Ray of Frost again. Okay. That'll hit. All right, seven. And let's see if she saves. She wrote a natural one. Insect plague drops. Oof. All right. That's my thing. Actually, I can move right. God, what the? You can move regular if you want to. <laughs> oh, okay, you also I'm you also right see there. the army of things. Yeah, I'm gonna move there, so hopefully she can't hit me. And only and these guys don't go for me. Uh, I'm done though. Alright, these two come up and this goes off. She does it at fourth level. Because that's what she has. Okay, these guys, oh, they have good decks. Both save. <clears throat> okay. Can't quite get close enough yet, but uh Badger, that's a twenty two to hit Badger. That's gonna hit. She takes five piercing and she needs to make a con save. Okay. 
Okay, she falls unconscious. Roll 20 updated their status con uh, icons. No, those, those are ones read added to it. Yeah, she took five piercing and that happened. Okay, these ones would know that. Therabeth. She casts shield. Okay. That's them. Yep. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the sound of battle kind of got these guys' attention. And none of you rested. Uh... Turns invisible. Ezra, you're up. Ooh. The will not to bet a game is strong. Okay. Um. You heard that fireball, but you don't know what's going on back there. Um, realistically, I'm still going to want to help out here because it just got a whole lot more complicated. Um, <clears throat> I will. Move in. Okay. I will attempt to, uh, pierce this thing. Alright, go ahead. That'll hit. Very nice. That will not hit. Wait, which one are you going for? Uh, this one. Okay, yeah, that doesn't hit it. Uh... I'll use my amulet. Okay, turn to hit. Go ahead. Roll your damage. No action charge. Okay. That's a hit. Jesus. And that'll hit too. <laughs> Holy shit! You did just it enough. Did you did just enough damage to kill it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Azure is unconscious. Darabeth. What are you going to try? Okay. 
DC is not very high, but... Actually... Ruby uses her action to lick Badger awake. Badger's on the floor and prone, but is awake and can take an action. Okay. That works. I feel like um, that might be what Ruby would try to do. I mean, she she's still technically like a... She is a like sentient being in that respect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if that's the case, then Badger will you get up and lose half her movement to stand. Yeah, she has no movement movement left. Or oh well, oh, no. Sorry, go ahead. My fault. My bad. Uh, okay. I, I mean, she, if she has a movement left, she has a movement left. But yeah. otherwise, so it's, she it's, does. It's, she... she does. She does. Like that's just my bad brain. Um. So she'll get up. Um, is getting back on Ruby considered a action bonus action? It takes half her movement. <laughs> she has the rest of her movement, so... Okay, it takes half her movement to get up, <laughs> get up and get back. Gotcha. Alright, uh, she will take a shot at that one. Okay. That'll definitely hit. Solid. And, and then Ruby's movement is... Four is 50 feet, I think. Yes. So it'd be uh, half of that, so she'll just do as much as she can. Okay. Well, but uh, the thing is, Badger and uh, Ruby don't get difficult terrain in here. Because they share that natural explorer uh, thing. Yeah, but she loses half her movement getting onto Ruby. She does. Ruby doesn't lose any of her movement. Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay. Although... Yeah, that's... Yeah. That story says at 25, because under normal circumstances, she always uses Ruby's movement. Yeah, yeah. So her, her Ruby's movement, movement is fine. Okay. So, so she's going to... Um, start heading... Uh, towards the others okay well she does not have much left in her hmm. she does have this though another fourth level fireball for 35 damage if they fail Success. That's a fail. Okay. Imogen. She actually did a lot of fucking damage to these things. Uh, and it takes most of her... She can get to... Here. She won't do that one again. Uh, okay. Ezra, you're a decent threat, and Reed is behind the corner. Actually, let me see here. No, she's not going to do that. She's going to do something else. Ezra, Leon, and Pulchara, make me dexterity saving throws, please. Okay. 
Okay. Ezra and Leon, you are both lit up like a Christmas tree. And three of these creatures also need to make the save. Okay. This one fails. Is also lit up. And this one fails. The other just passed. And it's your turn, Pochara. Well, I've ran the numbers in my head. Escape is not an option. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to go down swinging. I'm going to uh, light the flame tongue blade, and I'm gonna uh, like aim for the one on my left. All right, you have advantage to hit. Do, do. That'll hit. Alright, so minus 19. And if we still up, I'm gonna swing again. Oh yeah, he's definitely still up. These are beefy boys. That'll hit. Jesus. I'm strong. That's a lot of damage. He's barely standing. <laughs> uh, yep, that's my turn, unfortunately. <laughs> Leon. Yeah, I'm using Agonize Scorcher as a third level spell. All right, are you gonna get the that line? That I guess you're doing it. Yeah, this, this way? line of four people. Yeah, go ahead. Let me uh, go ahead and give me that, and I will make their saves. Wow. Holy D20. Crap. Roll twenty, really? What the fuck? All right. This is the fight where it wants us to die. Apparently. Success. Success. Fail. They have a plus one. I rolled a 16, a 20, an 8, and a 20. Where are these rolls when I need them? I don't know. Thank God those would have lined up uh, to nat 20. Me. I guess that's the end of my turn. They just want to yeah, not sorry, die. Man. That was... That is rough. Reed, what count on you here? Reed. Don't have any soul slots. Yikes. Okay. If I go here, can I see the the person that was here you before? You cannot. Okay. Uh, then I will move back and target. I guess this one in the front. With chill touch. Okay. Advantage to hit. Oh, my bad. I'll just roll see, again see to see if I get the crit. crit yeah. yeah. Alright, well, go ahead and roll your damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you add your ability modifier to these? Your intelligence modifier? As an evoker? I don't think so. Hmm. That is fucking rough. Gonna die. <laughs> Probably should have rested, huh? I was fine before this fight. And has to dash to get to about here. That'll hit. 
Uh, how are your how's your con? Terrible. You succeed though. <laughs> She used Hobbit. her last of this. Probably gonna be casting shield this turn. Potentially, um... Well, Char, this one... No, it's gonna stay there. Ochara, you uh not in good shape here. Nope. Okay, we'll go with, we'll start with you, because you're the least. Uh the one that you've been mangling on. The thirteen and a twenty-two. I'm gonna cast shield, my AC is twenty-three. Alright, let's go with four more. Alright, eight, six, twelve, six. Two of those are natural ones. Whew. Okay. Two, uh, four at advantage against Ezra. What's your AC, Ezra? 18. Only one hits uh, for five slashing. Make a concentration check, please. All right, you're good. And Leon, what's your AC? I'm at 19, I believe. Yes, 19. All right, that's a 22, a 21, and a 24, and the 17 misses. So you take a total of 17 slashing damage. And that's them. Um, uh, Ezra, it's not your turn, oh. Ezra. It's not your turn. Um, Ezra, you take nine force damage. As, as from the uh, from this hallway, four darts hit you from an unseen entity. Now it's your turn. Uh, do I need to make another con save? Mm hmm Thank you. You're still good. Okay, then. Um... <clears throat> I guess I'm going to... try to thin out this area over here that's it, trying to hit on Polchara. I'll go ahead and use a Hexblade's Curse on it. Uh, which one specifically? Okay. You do have advantage to hit this one. So it has sex, but I'm putting hex face cars on it. Yes. And you have advantage to hit it, so. <laughs> because it's very fired. Kind of like you guys are. That'll hit. And that'll hit. All right. And it's Badger's turn. Uh, she will keep moving up forward into this room here. Probably gonna hug this wall here. And she is going to start taking shots. Probably at this one, since this was probably the, like, like, first line of sight. Uh, the one that you just hit? Yeah. Okay. And so she gets advantage because of the fairy fire? Yes. She should recognize fairy fire, so. She's gonna hunter's mark first. Okay. Okay. 
That uh, roll. Yep, that will hit. Eight plus. And then one d six. All right. And that's all she can do. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, Darabeth, you are not in a good spot right now. Not many of you are. Um, one of her second level is, or her first level is really good at doing damage. She'll just try to, she'll try to fire bolt the closest one. What can I hit? This is not good for you all. In a booming voice, in Elvish, uh, those who speak in it understand us uh, will hear. Lay down your arms, and your lives may not be forfeit. There's that gibberish again. <laughs> I know, Pulchera, you don't understand it, so... Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, my turn? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna Hexblade's Curse, uh, uh, this one here, in between me and Ezra. Okay. And I'm going to Sword. Okay. You hit, and uh, it's probably dead. Probably. Yeah. Plus three, also. Yeah, plus it's it it did. Oh, thank God! I need that heal. Yeah. So Ezra and Pulchar, you both get some health back. And Pulchar, you have another attack. Yep, I'm gonna attack the one to my left. Hopefully, I finish him off. If you hit him, you do. He has three health. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, I will stand my ground. Um, so these things aren't humanoid, right? They are humanoid, but they're definitely a strange creature. The reason I ask if they're humanoid or not is because I do have Spectre, a cursed Spectre. Is that only when you kill one? Uh, yeah. You're right, it is. Yeah. Damn right. Have you uh, killed any humanoids lately? Uh, technically that drow. That is correct. Did you want to raise his specter? Yes. Okay. We forgot. You forgot. Kind of forgot to do that, huh? Yeah, I. So didn't now you have that. I'm. No, no, now we just have this uh, specter who's like a complete asshole. <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> Too busy looking at uh how much HP I regain. 
7 plus yeah. 9. A charisma modifier. So 10. Not bad. Oh, your thing says 12, isn't it? Is it 12? That's what it said. I don't know if that's... Cur what oh, well, uh, you... Well, you're, it's, you're it's, warlock, it's your level. warlock's level plus your charisma. Oh. So my warlock level is actually seven. Oh, that's because it's I'm it's I think it's basing it off your total level. Right. I wished. Yeah, I, I meant the uh, oh, the card cool. itself was doing that, but yeah. But mine would be plus fourteen if it was my total level. Yeah, Leon, you're up. I don't know if you understood that one, but. No, I don't understand it. So I'm gonna move to the right one square, okay. and I'm just gonna go ahead and just heal myself about twenty. So back up to thirty-three. All right. And that's all I can do. Read. You understood the message. Dang it. I'll just quickly translate and then uh so, so we're still fighting until someone says otherwise. I will attack this one with firebolts. Okay. But I'll, I'll let everyone know what uh the uh the visible person or wherever they are uh said. That'll hit. That's my turn. Uh, the Spectre Herb will go before me, just to let you know. Okay. Oh, was that T20? It's uh, initiative? Uh, Yeah, it's uh, he has a plus two to dex, so. Okay, so. We just. You, have you go, both go simultaneously then? He's gonna use all his movement to get there. These two will hold. See your reactions to this call. The Quagoths, I'm just gonna say their name, are going to touch. Read in Undercommon, you hear. Are you sure about this, Meleth? Maybe you just kill them now. Ezra. I hear the voice, but I'm not entirely sure how everyone is going to want to just lay their arms down. Yeah. So, because retranslated it out to everyone, so everyone knows what what was said. Yeah, except for what was just said. Yes. So, um, I'm gonna roll d20. Okay. Uh, I keep fighting, apparently. Okay. We'll, uh, move, uh, the specter here, and, uh, the specter will try and life drain this one. Okay. That's, uh, disadvantage. Okay, that'll hit. It has to make a con save of DC 10. 
We'll go ahead and make roll your damage. I just want to see what the con save was. All right. Succeeds. Okay. So it just takes that 13 then? Mm hmm. And what do you do? And then I'll, uh, two pokes. Okay. Also with this advantage? Yes, because it is dodging. Miss. Hit. Now the hard part, what does Badger do? That's a good question. Because she understood it when yeah. it happened. I think with how Badger is, she's also going to roll, but she's going to roll at advantage. Okay. Because how like how cautious she is. Unfortunately, she's not here to make that decision herself. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. That's a. What's well, a good got... thing? She's not, you know, um. Didn't make that attack roll. <laughs> With that roll, those rolls. Yeah. She notches the arrow up and tries to put one in the same one that I attacked. Okay. And... That's a miss. Let's see. She takes 14 piercing damage as one of these drow pelter with a bolt. Needs to make a con save. She's she, she is unconscious again. Oh, I forgot she was also poisoned, so she was supposed to be running at disadvantage anyway. That's my B. Therabeth will... Wait for your reactions. Continue and you die again in Elvish. Ochara. Like, uh... Okay. These things around me, they're just dodging, right? Mm hmm. Mm. I'm gonna keep fighting. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. I didn't understand the message anyway. Uh, I mean, Rita said that she had said to lay down weapons. Yeah, but she's the enemy. Okay. Uh, Perfectly reasonable. Yep, I'm going to uh, do, 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 take an attack against this one. Okay. Boop. That'll hit. And Still up. And another one. That'll hit, and I believe you probably kill it. And, yep, that'll be my turn. Oh, and uh, Badger's Concentration Drops, by the way. Leon. 
Uh, with Reed's message, I probably would uh, agree to stop attacking at this point. Because I'm pretty sure I realized that we're probably outnumbered at this point. Okay. I will dodge, though, at the very least over here. Okay, good dodge. Reed. Okay, I'll do the same thing as Leon. I'll dodge as well. Okay. This one that's to the south has pulled out a sword and is holding it close to Badger. The other one has a crossbow trained at, uh, Darabeth. They're continuing to dodge, but they're... Going to back up. Ezra, Pultura, do you take a tax opportunity? Eh, if they're willing to leave this spot, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. I might need the shield. For the sake of this, I think we can end combat. Yikes. Can we take 10 from that? Hmm? Can we take 10 minutes from that? Oh, is it break? Yeah, I was going to do a break here. Yeah, I'll take 10 minutes. Let's do a quick break, everyone. We shall yeah. be right back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll be right back. I think I got to make a call, basically, with someone. We'll get a refill. I'll be right back. Are we surrendering? Or... I'm very confused.
Oh, look at us. Took on a couple fire giants. Cleared a whole fire giant fortress. Captured by Drow. Hey, quick, quick question. Are we surrendering? I, I didn't get that. <laughs> Honest with you, if it rolled over to my turn, I was gonna put my I was going to put my rapier back in its in its uh sheath. So pretty much, it, we were gonna want surrendering. Oh, if it round up my turn, I was gonna charge these guys. Damn, you guys are just <laughs> risk taker, aren't you? I also didn't know we were surrendering. I was just saying a minute ago how. Uh... Look at us, group of adventures, took down a whole fire giant fortress, now we're being captured by Drow. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm not being taken captured. I'm going down swinging. Are you now? Indeed. Okay. I trip a negative. Back.
How you guys doing? Actually, pretty good. All things considered. Hmm. We'll see how long uh, it lasts. Wondering if they'll let us just. Wonder if they'll be if they'll be nice and just escort us back to the beginning and spare us. Spare what? We're winning. Uh, what definition of the word? Our our wizard has no spell slots. Our ranger keeps getting knocked out. Yeah, she is currently unconscious and um, has a sword to her throat. Uh, you and I are... At least I know I only have one spell slot left. Uh, me too. And I don't have any of my luck points. I've used my clockwork amulet. <laughs> and I've used my exploits curse. I don't know how bad Leon's looking on health, but if he had to heal himself, he must be not doing great. He wasn't. He's doing better now, but... Yeah, in what definition are we doing okay? Sorry about that. I was talking to my dad. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we're winning. <laughs> it's two guys. It's not two guys. It's whoever is yelling at us in Elvish to stop fighting them. Four of those things that Fish said, I can't remember what he said they were called, and two other drow in another direction. One of them who has a sword to Badger's throat. These things have backed down. Yes, but as soon as we keep fighting, they're going to jump back in. Yeah, fine. Also, where'd Leon go? Yeah, apparently he's taking a call. I don't know how long he's going to be gone, though. For now, he's also kind of let go. So for now, you guys kind of uh, oh, you don't, you don't think you did you quite drop your weapons or are you just staying there, kind of defensive. I was I planned on sheathing my weapon. I wasn't going to drop it. Okay. I won't attack anyone, but I'm not putting my weapon down. I don't really have a weapon, so I'm, not, I'm just standing there. I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. Coming out of the cave is a a draw female with long white hair and a dress made of scales from some creature you do not know. Good. 
I suggest you stay that way. Lest you end up like what you've done to my companions. You can... Seem to hold yourselves pretty well. She's saying all this in Elvish, of course. I have a proposition for you. Up to one of the people that speak Elvish to respond. Yeah, I was waiting to see if Fish was like, was was pausing for dra make effect and then continuing. I kind of speak up, go on, in Elvish, like some Elvish yeah. draw. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really seem impressed by it, but... could easily kill you here, but I think we can put you to use elsewhere. In this cave system, there is a creature that... Well, he's, uh... It's, uh... Not quite of this world. I'd like you to get rid of it for us. Can I hear it whispering or like in uh, under common you hear it read? Are you serious? It's it's the person still invisible. It'll be fine, Thursa. She replies in undercommon. The temporary truce, I would like you to slay this creature for us. You can keep your lives and just leave us alone. Fair enough. That seems reasonable, considering. And I, and, and I kind of call out to everyone in common. All right, everybody. We're not in a good spot. And uh, as much Pachara as you think you can clear out this room by yourself we've been offered a job the payment obviously is that we don't die right now that's not very good payment they want us to take out another creature in this cave system and then after that we just leave these nice uh, these nice drow folk alone And I say, and I say an Elvish back to her. I'm assuming you're gonna allow us to rest before we do this deed. As you can tell, we're not in prime fighting condition. Of course, but betray us, and well, you kind of see behind her almost like an image of this tall, lanky, yellow thing with a scent one eye. It kind of almost, like, almost looks like a tree made of slime, a yellow slime. It's really unnerving. Terrible things will happen. Understood. If it makes you feel all the better, you can have one of your. You can have one of your men watch us as you rest. I'm assuming we just need a cave wall just for eight hours or so. Kind of looks around, kind of looks in the ground. Uh, if you dispatch the others that went north, I don't have any men left. You kind of look around. The, the rest are women. Ah. Yes. Well... Either way, if you want to post guards to keep watch of us while we lick our wounds, so to speak, I know I'm fine with it, and I say in common, 
we're going to be able to rest and these nice drow folk are going to watch us while we do so and we're not going to do anything stupid are we Polchara oh yeah sure sure you're out of character you're so lucky uh, he he doesn't speak uh, elvish because he would not surrender to just five people knowing that's all there's left <laughs> Six. there's a total he doesn't even know about what Ezra saw behind the the other dra the drow woman that was talking. That, that, that's a fair point. Did, did I see what was the, what was behind you? Well, you got uh, lightning bolted, and then the person that lightning bolted you turned invisible and cast a spell, and stayed invisible. And now has reappeared. Oh, that, that was the yellow thing? No, this was a... That yellow thing was something different. Yeah, yeah, I was asking if I saw the yellow thing. I think she uh, made uh, it plain and clear for everyone. And uh, then behind uh, this one, you kind of catch a glimpse of a shadowy, wispy thing behind him for a quick glance. Okay, I, I mostly just wanted to know if I could uh, determine if that was a fiend or not. Um, yeah, roll Arcana or History, whichever you're better at. Uh, Arcana. Ten. It, it's hard to tell what you think it might be. You're not 100% sure. Reed, you know some drow can... Some of the more powerful ones are capable of summoning uh, demons from the abyss. Okay. But yeah, after after I, I explicitly point out Polchara that we're not doing anything stupid, <laughs> I smile and look back towards her. Well, now that we got all that settled, you just point us in a spot that you want to watch us in, and we will rest up, and then you point us in the direction of where you need us to go. And then after that, we may not leave this place, but we'll leave you fine, folk alone. Hmm. She kind of she points into a direction uh, this this way. You'll find it uh, along the river and inside its own little uh, outlet, outlet, outlet. Basically, you follow the river for a bit, and then uh, in one of the there's a little uh, a path that'll lead uh, toward the center of the cave, and point toward where she's pointing. If you follow the river, you'll find. it. All right, fair enough. And I'm assuming you want to watch us in this nice enclosed area over there. And I kind of point towards the little, like, circlet, like, inner area that I could probably see from that angle. Hmm. Would that be comfortable enough for you? As long as I don't have a blade pointed towards my throat. I'm comfortable with anything. The one that's pointing it toward Badger kind of sheathes the sword. Well, if we're all in accordance. And she kind of claps her hands and... You see some of her wounds heal, her friend's wound heal. The Quagoth that had hit, uh, its wounds are healed. None of yours, of course, but she basically, you can attempt to, an arcana to figure out what she just cast. I, I go straight over to Badger and go to wake her up. I'm assuming Ruby's already trying to do it in the process, but I'm just like... Yeah, she, Badger is still poisoned, but 
Yeah. I almost accidentally healed a reed. <laughs> 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 I kind of like, I'm kind of a uh, padding badger on, on her cheek a little bit. And she wakes oh. up. Let's go. As this is all going on, I'm just gonna like turn to these guys over here. I'm just gonna say, so what's your guys' deal? Like minions? And I, uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I, I, uh, make the uh, specter go away. By the way, okay. I don't, since I don't have a the stuff for that. That's fine. But yeah, I kind of help Bad. I kind of like get Badger and like sling her over the back of Ruby, so she's kind of like being carried. Yeah, she is. Versus riding. Yeah, she's not feeling very well. I tell Ruby to take her over to that little circle, like in cove thing. Okay. Well, Char, they don't respond. Uh... Uh, Reed, you, you you hear like one of these like, what even is this guy? An undercommon? <laughs> I'm gonna try again. And, and they're and they're talking like kind of talking about Pulchara. I'm not gonna speak any undercommon, and I'm not gonna tell Pulchara yet because uh, just in case they they think we don't understand undercommon. I start kind of walking towards Polchara, putting my arm around his shoulder. Come on now, Polchara. Let's not cause any more inconvenience than we already have, and let's hold up our first half of the deal and uh, take a nice long rest while <laughs> we're being watched. Oh, that sure does sound like skippity fun, Ezra. Let's go. short rest or a long rest You're taking a long rest <laughs> you need a long rest huh okay they'll probably split it or get mad but I, I want to do Leoman's tiny hut okay it doesn't really like from what I from what I can tell it doesn't like block your voices out or anything so yeah it's just uh sight I believe Yes, and they can't get through it unless they have to spell magic, which you don't know. We're in the position to be like trying to throw a coup, anyways, so. Hmm. Unless you all, anyone wants to try something, you do manage to get a rest. I personally am not going to try anything. It's a, frankly, it's a miracle that they did not just, uh, strip us of all of our weapons and gear and kill us around the spot, so. Yeah, I'm being productive. I'm, I'm gonna work on the spell scroll. <laughs> How much do you have left? Uh, 225, uh, gold pieces of ink. Hmm. Yeah, poison, uh, is one of those things where it kind of falls off if uh, you get a long rest, right? Yeah, it only lasts an hour. Hello, half my hit dice. It's not the most comfortable sleep, knowing you're still kind of being watched. How many charges do you have left on that? Uh, four now. I've okay. only used two. Is 
since you would have seen the entire thing. Do, 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 do. All right. As the dome fades, what do you wish to do? Well, I'm assuming after a long rest, we're, we have to go on to our next task. It appears so. I don't think they're going to give us an option about when we can do it. They give you a general direction, but they don't seem keen on just following you. Kind of makes me worry about what's in there if the drow don't want to want to go in there. I don't know, an angel? Something good? Probably. <laughs> on the one way to find out. I need to check some real quick. Hold on. Wait, what do you say? Okay, I'm gonna feel awful if I actually just guessed it. I've done that before, just Hey, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> no, what, what'd you say? Go ahead and say it. Oh, he, he said, uh, like, what do you think's down there? And then I said, I don't know, something good, like an angel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. If the drow want it dead, then I can't expect it being all that bad. Like, I, I, I'm assuming it's powerful. I, 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 I'm assuming it's good, though. Like, these are all assumptions. Alright. Why is that not on the sheet? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But we, we can go kill it. You can certainly try. It's, uh, in a way, it's good to know that, that we know something is down there versus, like, if we found our way down there and didn't know. Oh, well, either way, it would die. But, yeah, sp speaking of either ways, yeah, I'm, I, I'm ready. Let, uh, let, let's go get it. All right, which way do you go to do this? Uh, we follow the path that she pointed out. She gave you a general direction, uh, but, yeah, you can t potentially take that path. I kind of walk up to the the two two guards thank you kindly <laughs> I'm just going to say infernal in infernal oh thank you please move badger is like slowly cautiously walking past them <laughs> Yeah, they're technically humanoids, and she's never, she's just no idea what the fuck these things are. The only person who would potentially know is Reed, I think. He'd need, make a, need to make a history check, though. All right, let's do it. Fifteen. You you know they're called Quagoths, and they obviously can speak. You you heard them speak under common. Other than information. They do have a tendency to when they if they get severely damaged, they um become more aggressive and 
also can hurt a lot more. They hit harder as they their health drops. And they do uh, occasionally uh, serve drow. So it was a good thing that I killed that one in the in my first turn. <laughs> Potentially, yes. Interesting. Farwell, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you do that, you're fucking dead. I'm joking. I'd be up <laughs> Don't want you go to cast, that's initiative, and then uh, get a nice close eye on you. Oh, I would not want that. Okay, so, um, where are we going? Uh, th this yeah. way. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what was the other way around. Well, she just pointed to that direction, so might as well go this way. Seems like a somewhat more direct, direct path. Agree. Let's get it. Do you want to lead or should I? Be my guest. <laughs> All right. Oh, stealth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Actually, Badger will cast. Uh... Uh, Leon, you have dark vision. Uh, Darabeth, cast it on you. Roger that. Badger will cast cat, uh, Pass by the Trace. Okay. Do, do, do. So that's a plus 10 now. That's Badger. That second one's me. Okay. Dang, Reed. <laughs> he doesn't want to get hit again. <laughs> Reed is secretly a rogue. Reed had like a uh, a towel or something that like looked like a rock formation. It's just against the wall. All just, <laughs> just camouflage against the wall. Yeah. Darabeth is not very stealthy, but Pass Without Trace helps a lot. Yeah, I was about to say with Pass Without Trace, she's actually not bad. She rolled probably. a four. <laughs> Boy, that turned into a fourteen. The drow are all like, where'd they go? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll move it on. <laughs> Wait, as you guys are passing by, you do hear one of the Quagos. Half breed. If Char could understand them, him, he would take offense. Well, they are seeking an undercommon, so I don't know what they're saying either. So. Yeah. <laughs> if oh, I knew shit. undercommon, then I would have to roll two d20s. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you guys either because how you reacted less than... <laughs> <laughs> They have soiled the treaty between us. Reed, Reed, you do know that the Quagoths are not fans of surface elves. Apparently, especially when they're Half elves. That just makes it worse. <clears throat> Perception checks. Sure. Well, not. Uh, sure, I, I already said it. I'll, I'll make one. If you want to, I, you're welcome, I, welcome, I, welcome I, to do so. I, I meant more look around. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, to the north, you see a chasm that kind of leads up with a uh, kind of like a thin tree or zerkwood across it. 
to the south. A couple branching paths. You can go ahead and make a perception check if you want. Uh, sure. Uh, perception seven. Yeah, about as good as I thought you would get. All right. Dear God, the walls have made of stone here. Let's see. Barcel wood. Or path. Is that a small opening? Yeah, it's like a chasm between the uh, between the two. It, it leads like up into it, it, this. This is higher than this. That's not the direction she said to go. So I guess down. Yeah, she said there was a pathway that strayed off of the off of the river. Oh, okay. Then that'd be down, down. So the narrow path. I'm going to just take a peek uh, this way before I go down. All right, you see a... A large creature with kind of like... almost writhing tentacle-like things on its face. It seems to be eating something. It doesn't seem that I've noticed you. I'm I'm just like I'm just like gonna like take a step back and I'm just like gonna like grab Ezra's like uh, like face a little bit and then just like just kind of poke it over the corner so he can see it. Yeah, I think that's what they were talking about. Charles is gonna give a thumbs up. And. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw my sword. I'm just gonna be sneaking on closer. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I know that I know that this is a move on my part. I, I'm gonna see if anyone's uh, gonna stop me, or if everyone's fine with this. Poljara, don't be dumb now. Speaking on back, because like, you, you mean by sneaking up there, or do you mean in general during the fight? In general, don't be dumb. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go through with that. I'm just gonna try to sneak up, and I want to get within melee range. I'm just gonna try to cut it. As you get closer, you notice what it's eating. It's a. Uh... Seems to be eating uh, the corpse of a a dwarf with like gray skin, like dark gray skin. Uh. He kind of looks up every now and then, kind of just munching, looks around, and goes back down to eating. Uh, which way is its head mostly facing? It's mostly facing this way. Okay then. Then yeah, I'm gonna go through my plan of just sneaking up behind it. A uh, quick question about my uh, flame sword: Does it make like kind of a noise, or would it give away my position if I lit it? Uh, it makes light. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I would just give away. My Hold on, let position. me check something real quick. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure it didn't have a uh, certain sense. Are you going to attack this thing? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, first off, if you're taking part, go ahead and roll initiative.
Okay. We'll try your first attack as advantage because you are unseen. Doki doke. Uh, yeah, I'll light my blade then. Or wait, no, that might take away my unseen. You can do it real quick and then make a quick slash, but your first attack has advantage. Doki doke. I'll light it then. And. That, that's a hit. Not great damage. Actually, second worst damage I could have possibly done. <laughs> eh, almost. Okay. And next one's normal, so flame blade. Ooh. That'll hit, yeah. Much better. <laughs> oh shit! Shit! I actually, hit a different button. Uh... Okay. Um, it's aware there's someone there now, and it is very hurt and screaming in pain, and it turns to you. It's surprised. <laughs> the sucky thing is, no matter what Badger does, well... It, it knows. It probably knows that we're all going to be there in the next couple people, anyways. Uh, she will move in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bother with initiative for this. Probably because I didn't expect you to get a fucking crit, but, you know. That's fine. Uh, she will just take a shot with her plus one bow. Okay. Uh, Hunter's marking it, of course. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. That'll hit. It's dead. Oh, okay. And six health left out of Pochara's massacre. Oh, okay. God, the, those drows were that scared of this? I don't think this is the target here, Pochara. God, what if that was the baby? Because, let's face it, this was around the corner. And that's the only thing you really see in this place, in this cavern. You see some Zerk Woods. Well, now we won't have to deal with that in the future. Right, then. Huh. Let's see, on the corpse of this uh, Duragar, as Reed would be able to identify it. Uh, you do, like, you find uh, a war pick and three javelins stuck in a, a felled Zerkwood. And an empty uh, flat. Uh, one second. Can't type. There you go. It has scale mail on, but it's not salvageable. I don't think anyone here wears scale mail anyway. Hey, by the way, guys, I, I think I see a path that leads to where we're going, and it's not as narrow as that one. Actually, uh, measure 60 feet down. Okay. Yeah, Just a perfect. little bit further. Yeah, I'll, I'll tiptoe down there. Oop, oop. Are we still using the same stealth checks as before? Nope. Okay. Uh... One of six. And I just realized that Pass Out Trish just fell off. Because I did. Because ah, uh, yeah. 
Do you want to retcon that? Uh, because you're you weren't did, weren't you know completely sure about that. I forgot to give you a, a clock anyway. Are you as far as far as the hunter's mark? Yes. Uh, if you're yeah, if you want to, if you're okay with taking it back, that's fine. Yeah. I am not evil. Mostly. Wow. Damn. Was it a good thing? Darabeth. I'm guessing she rolled really low again. She rolled a nat one. Oh Jesus. So that's a three before the plus ten. Okay, it looks like it's just as narrow, so I just want to check out this upper part here before we go down there. Okay. Badger's probably going to be looking this thing over. Oh, yeah, it's it's not a beast or anything. It's a... something else. Like a giant fuzzy centipede. Uh, may, have her make... If she wants to try to identify it, she can try an Arcana check. I know she's not trained in it, but... I realize she's probably not... Yeah, she has no idea what this thing is. I'll open up my divine sense to tell if it's a fiend or not. Uh, it is not a fiend. It's not a fiend, guys. Oh, thank God. Wait, wait, you can just sense what fiends are around? That's good to know. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, down this path. Just as narrow as the other one, though. <coughs> okay. What'd you say, Leon? I was talking to the others. Did we go down this path? Yeah, it looks like it starts going uh, east. I turned to read. Which did they tell us which way to go? They just told us south. They didn't really tell us the direction. Uh, I, I it told you like to follow the river. Oh, yeah. But it was closer. It's basically the center of this cave system. Uh, I, I can see more of the path that does lead uh, more south. I mean, the river would be south either way. I don't know. We, we, we can go the other path if you guys want. I mean, I don't know which way is which. I don't live here. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah the, this path does look like it goes down more south. Either way, it's a narrow path. The other one looks like a narrow path, too, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we might as well check out this one over here. Let's see. And... Got here. Yeah, but that can wait. Peak. The dead Duragar 
got that the Karen crawler was eating got your attention, huh? Your appetite going? What? Nothing. Oh god, is this another horse meat thing? No. <laughs> You're not cursed this time. Oh, then I'm just weird. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> This is not a spy song. <laughs> Goodbye. It's through the cave. Wait, wait, I can fly. That's a lame song, then. Ooh. I, I'm gonna see a big path or opening here. I, I'm gonna be very skeptical about it. I, I'm gonna search the room for things that look dangerous, like more of those oh. uh, things or just something hiding. Well, a rotting, a rotting stench fills this 30-foot high cavern. The slime-coated floor slopes toward, uh, slopes, like, southward a little bit. And lying in the slime are the putrid corpses of three what look like humanoid fish and four, uh, uh, scaled creatures uh, similar in size to to you and your party. Hmm. Gonna guess those are the fish people and the stinky lizard people. Hmm. Oh, is that the stench? No, uh, no, the, the stench is corpses. Potentially, yeah. Ezra, there's corpses in here and a bunch of slime. You, you don't think it's the bad kind of slime, do you? If it's the bad kind of slime, it just hasn't attacked us yet. Hmm. Does anyone have any, like, meat or anything? I'm assuming we would all have, like, some form of rations with, like, dried jerky or something. Oh, I got ten rations on me, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take the meat out from a ration, and I'm going to like toss it. Like you said, like there, there's like a line for where the slime meets or something. No, there's no line. It just kind of slopes down this way. And this way. Oh, okay, uh, I'm going to carefully put uh, the meat on the edge of the slime. I'm okay. Like like, and I'm going to see if the slime moves closer to the meat. Uh, the slime does not move closer to the meat. It just kind of sits there. Okay. Now I'm going to put the meat inside of the slime, see if it dissolves. Nothing dissolves. It'll be gross, but it, I think it's safe. Okay, I'll take the first step then. Okay. I'll take a step into the slime. Nothing happens. Right then. Uh, let's move on then. Going around the corpses. I'm kind of following behind Polchara just because, of, like, following his footsteps. Badger, on the other hand, is looking at the ceiling, looking at the walls, looking <laughs> at the ground. Yeah, she doesn't see anything. She makes a persuasion check. She makes a perception check, looking everywhere. Yeah, she doesn't see anything. She hears, uh,. Water flow coming from both of these directions. Good. We're on the right path then. Stop right there, please. Okie doke. Uh, where is everybody else right now? Uh, 
I'm gonna go with these uh, two wizards here. Make sure they're safe. Yeah, I'm following you. Just in case, I don't want to get jumped randomly. Yeah, I don't know how far she'd be. Maybe right here. Cool, Char, you hear some slipping and slapping noises from the west as coming out of the darkness. Oh, shit. Who dares? You all, you all hear this. Who dares enter my sanctum? And that is where we will end the session tonight. <laughs> I hear silence. Why are the? Why do we only hear silence? Wow. Character, I I know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <same. laughs> I felt like I feel like we stepped out of the thought. I feel like we got out of the iron the the iron pan just to go straight into the fire. <laughs> I don't think it's undoable. <laughs> Yeah, there's a much bigger fire to put out than I was originally. <laughs> oh, you thought the carrion crawler was a problem? Oh no. Like, I at worst I was expecting like uh, an adult dragon. This is much worse. Uh, Reed, what's that? The key bindings to show uh, a token like. Like blow it up for everyone. Shift, shift Z, I think. There we go. Thank you. Oh, that's the the second oldest creature in existence. You pick this up next week, everyone. Things are about to get interesting down here. Indeed. He's put us up against a monster we can negotiate with. <laughs> we end up making a deal with him to to take down the drow instead. I'd be up for that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what they can fucking do, though. Anyway, yeah. But well, thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, fish. Next week's episode should be called We Really Thought This Was a Vacation. I'm having fun. Welcome to, uh, I kind of just make a like a joke somewhere. It's just an obscure Aqua Teen ref Hunger Force reference that no one will understand except me and maybe my brother. I understand boxing Hunger Force. I wouldn't understand it. Do you remember the um? Did you ever watch the episode with the uh, the chickens that pooped the uh, pinball eggs? All right then. Remember. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye, darlings. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Fusion. <laughs>